Trackmania just had a huge update to celebrate 20 years since their first release. In this update, we got a new environment called Snow, which used to be a thing in the older games. This allows the player to transition their car into a truck which accelerates slower than the stadium car, has a sharper turning angle and feels a little bit heavier. But there are also some goofy things about this update, such as that the car slides faster on ice by going sideways, backwards acceleration is extremely fast even in uphills, and that it cannot turtle, for example. With this new car we also got a new surface, wood. The wood surface is special in the sense that it has a lot of grip, like a lot of grip. There are also some new block formations which can be used for cool transitions. And as for scenery, we got some stones, lamps, borders, buildings and bridges. In my opinion, the new blocks are a game changer for scenery. But unfortunately, the update did not only introduce new things to the game. Old maps are now broken due to the changes in the old track wall physics, where the surface now acts like the new wood. Which means that many legendary maps are completely broken. For example, you can now spider bug on walls extremely easy due to the grip, and driving normally on them just feels weird. Hillis, the lead developer of Trackmania, responded to these changes, with that they had to break maps with the old wood in order to make the distinction between the new and old wood clear, and that introducing a new surface instead of changing the old one would increase the game size too much. When being asked why they focus on the game size so much, the response is, because we focus on it. And his solution to all the mappers out there is, Fixing old maps would be the fix because fixing the game by making an issue is not a fix. Which translated from French to English means Freak you and all other mappers and players who wish to revisit older maps. What do you guys think about this update? Personally, I think the update is really fun, with some really unfortunate misses. I streamed the release and played non-stop for about 12 hours on day 1 and I will continue to stream and talk more about the update over on twitch.tv slash Karlberg. I'm shooting for 10k followers by the end of the year and it would mean a lot if you decided to stop by and hang out. Anyways, that's it from me, see you in the next one.